Hello guys, welcome to a new video. And as you can see, the car is back from the cage. Um, it's home for a week now and then it's off for paint because we still need to do some small things and one big thing. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek here. I'm gonna pull the car outside once the weather is great because it's raining now so I can't pull the cars out and then I can show you more. But for now, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do today. Um, oh, here we have the engine as well. Um, so, I have this aluminium plate. I have these. And what we need to do is A, make these fit. So we need to shorten shorten the thread a little bit so it fits because right now as you can see it doesn't the thread is a bit too long so we need to shorten that so it goes in very nice and what we have to do as well these there are like covers on these but they are a bit rusty and those small ones as well um, on that side as well so what we're gonna do is from the aluminium plate make some covers and glue them in here so that's done and then one of the major things is cut the bucket out and then weld in the plate um, i'm not gonna do that myself Vladi's gonna help me out um, he did most of the welding on my car except the cage of course so uh, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be sick so not that much work today or that not that much work this week a little bit and if we have time but i don't think so we can also start sending the engine bay for paint um what color i'm not gonna tell you you'll have to see later in the video series still some work to do um, but exciting work so i think we're gonna start with the covers because that's most important for paint because it needs to get painted as well and then yeah this is i don't know 15 minutes work and then we can work on sending the engine bay so Let's get started. So these are the covers that went on them. So we're going to draw a line and then drill that out and make it uh, round. That's the plan. Uh, I'm not good at this, but I'm going to give it my best shot. As you can see, I need still a little more trimming. Close, just a little bit more. So plate one is done, I tested it in the car and it fits. Um, I sanded it a little bit because there were some scratches on them from the uh, grinding and stuff. So I'm gonna put this in primer as well, but first we're gonna take the measurements from this one and make a new one identical and then the big plates are done um, yeah we'll prime them and then glue them into the car so uh, make a good progress <laughs> So, I got it to fit pretty well. Um, of course, when it's glued in, it sits a bit different, so we should be good. So what we're gonna do now is put some primer on it, and then once that's dry, we can glue it in place. So, uh, I think the floor plate is 
covering this as well so it doesn't really matter that much but i just want it to look decent so this is decent once this is glued in it looks really nice so let's get it primed and then we can glue them both in on that side as well So I got everything into place to glue the big plates in. So that's what we're gonna do now. Um, yeah, just get the glue and glue them in. So now it's time to glue the small one in place. Um, there are two. There's just one I can get on screen just because I can't get the camera inside because of the cage. So you'll have to see from a distance how I'm gonna glue this small one in. So to paint the engine bay properly, we need to take this out as well. So the brake booster, master cylinder and ABS. Why not get it out of the way now, now that the car is here and we have not much else left to do. So we're going to take this all out and hopefully start sending. So I took the brake down to the front, to the left front out as well. Because we need to replace that, I still need to do the right side, but that's for tomorrow. And then tomorrow we're gonna take the pedals out as well and start sanding the engine bay. So yeah, excited work, but still, uh, it's gonna be a lot of work. So I think what's in it now, of course, this still can go. This probably can drill out as well. And oh yeah, we can drill out that as well because we don't need that. So we'll see where these spot welds are. Probably just take the seam sealer off here as well. Oh, I love that. And then we can drill that out, take the bracket out and then start sanding. So exciting day tomorrow. Also, you can see the plates currently drying up. I still have these ones. Those are the original ones that were worth saving. So I put some metal paint on them uh, to prevent them from rusting. And then we are gonna put them in the front holes, which is that one. And then there. So that's something we can do tomorrow as well, just because the paint had to dry. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. So we did most of this side, um, so all around here, here, and then here. And then this I'm considering if I'm gonna do it just because it's hidden behind the engine and everything. So I'm probably not gonna bother with it, maybe later. Um, so what's next is this side. Um, yeah, basically the exact same. So let's get going. Sometime later now, we did all the seam sealer and cleaned that up 
here as well. I removed the fenders because I'm gonna put some primer on there before we can glue the seam sealer back on like a normal shape. So what the plan is, is paint these parts with primer, all that's brownish, and then I think a couple layers, and then after that's done we can tape it off and then put the seam sealer on the edges and then make it look nice. So that's the plan. So today we are going to cut the spare wheel well out and weld a flat plate in. So this whole budge is going to go. Um, that's all we have planned for today really. Then we need to do some final touches on the sanding. Like here needs a bit of sanding there. And then tomorrow the car is off for paint. So. I'm gonna have to wait for Vladdy to get here because he's gonna cut and weld it because he's way better than me at it. I can't even weld so So we made these patterns, however you want to say it, and we're going to beat roll them so it has more rigidity to it, the plate, and it looks a bit better. So that's the next step, and after that's done, we can fine tune the plate itself and then weld it in. So here we're demonstrating the difference between the normal plate and the beetroot plate and as you can hear with the sound, it's completely different. Nice. So we got all the plates ready, we took the zinc coating off to weld, I say always say we but it's always Floppy doing it so he's the guy that's welding everything and making everything nice. So it's time to weld the plate into the car we're just gonna get the plates in take them into place and then make the welds so exciting stuff and then we're done then we can glue the whole seam and then this is in and then it can go off for a bit So Vladdy did an absolute incredible job at making this plate and welding it so it's on here like super tight, like you can move the whole car with it, very very neat. So all there's left to do now is glue the edges so we have a nice and watertight seal and then um, the rear is finished. Everything is masked off. Now we can grab the glue and put it on there. So that's it for today's video. Um, it was sort of all over the place just because there were so many things we had to do and it was filmed over so many days. So. I hope you guys in, could follow the timeline a little bit, but uh, yeah, next week we are picking the car up from the painter. I'm filming this when we already picked up the car, but you're going to see the next episode. And then probably the episode after we are going to move on to this again. 
so yeah thank you guys for watching the video i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys liked the cage and uh yeah a lot more to come so thank you guys for watching the video please like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye